are you serious? Are you serious? I'm staying very focused on the fact that we have a situation with this asteroid TX-68. And on March the 5th, it is due to go by the Earth. It's 100 foot wide. And it's going to go scraping by. Matter of fact, we're getting all kinds of reports now from NASA. Let me just give you this report. Yahoo News is reporting today through Science and Environment section of the San Jose Mercury News that an asteroid roughly 100 feet long moving at more than 34,000 miles an hour is scheduled to make a very close pass by the Earth in the next two weeks, March 5th. Now, we know this is asteroid TX-68. Uh, NASA's been watching this asteroid for three years. They started watching it in 2013. We've heard reports from uh, Suspicious Observer, uh, also BP Earth Watch, and others, Dutch Sense, who have been watching this very closely, as well as all NASA and all of the scientists. And, and, and listen, folks, it says, don't worry. They keep saying, don't worry. Scientists say it's no chance of hitting us. Well, if we don't worry, why is there a report after report report? It's because they're very nervous about this thing, believe me. And what else is coming with it? It's a big rock. It's, it's three times bigger than the one that exploded over Russia. And we didn't even get a heads up on that one. So this thing is, I mean, this could cause a catastrophic event if it gets too close. If it breaks through our atmosphere and explodes, it will cause a catastrophic event. Not the end of the world event, but certainly catastrophic. Depends where it's over. I mean, if it's over a city, or it'd be insane, okay? Uh, but they tell us, don't worry. It's not supposed to hit us. It may insist help draw public attention, though, to growing efforts at tracking thousands of asteroids zooming around space that could one day wipe out a city or worse. Okay, this is, and that would be that. That's because of just ex, the, um, a rock this big. Don't even have to make a deep impact. Just explode over the atmosphere of the Earth. And you would have a massive catastrophic event. Now, this asteroid is called TX-68. It's larger than an 18-wheel tractor-trailer truck traveling 34,000 miles an hour, expected to fly as close as now they're reporting 19,245 miles from the Earth. Now, first NASA told us it was going to go. It was going to miss us by 1.3 linear distance, which would be about, oh, you know, uh, 400,000 miles. Then we had reports. I had BP Earthwatch on my show, and I also had Mike Around the World on my show three weeks ago, and they, they both were calculating somewhere close to nine to 10,000 miles from the Earth. Now NASA's changed its numbers closer to those of BP Earthwatch and Mike from Around the World, and they're saying, 19,245 miles. In other words, they're not sure because they don't know how the gravitational pull of the moon will affect the trajectory of this asteroid uh, precisely. And it's going to go by the Earth at 4.06 p.m. Pacific time, Monday, March the 7th. So now they've delayed it two days, saying that when it goes by the moon, the moon the moon's gravitational pull will slow it down and knock it a little bit off its trajectory closer toward the earth, slower and toward the earth, and that it will go whizzing by on March 7th instead of March 5th, and instead of 300, 400,000 miles away from the earth, 19,245. All right, so March 5th it was due, it's going to be March 7th, and a whole lot closer. And I told you what BP and Mike from around the world are both saying, around nine to 10,000 miles from the Earth. So basically, this is a big boy asteroid, and it will be close. Not a deep impact, but close. And so we will be keeping an eye on what else that means. But here's the key thing why I bring it up. You might say, Paul, after it's gone and nothing happens, we're going to be coming back to you, smacking you in the head. I mean, whatever you want to do, good luck with that. But here's the deal. Watch out for a meteorite on your way over. But here's the problem. There's thousands of these asteroids. We're coming closer and closer. There's more and more of them all the time as we move in this galactical plane. And it shows you that in the Bible that we will have two very large deep impacts that will be literally 
catastrophic for the earth. And you can find those in Revelation 8, uh, where it talks about two in a row. One's like a burning mountain, one's like a burning lamp. And I mean, it's going to wipe out a third of the population of the earth, and it's going to do catastrophic event damage. It's prophesied in your Bible, it will come to pass. And as more and more and more as the odds are increasing constantly, this is why Russia has already got their eye on the asteroid Apophis. Now, Apophis will go by the earth if we're still here in the year 2029. And then seven years later, it returns and comes dangerously close. Even NASA three years ago gave it a 2.7% chance of hitting the earth. It's, they don't know for sure. This thing is gigantic and it's, it's going to be... Uh, so here's what Russia's doing. They're turning their nukes toward Apophis and they're planning on trying to shoot this thing out of space with nuclear missiles. That's how dangerous and seriously things are getting. So I'm just going to keep you up to speed because these were all prophesied in the Bible. The Bible said that for there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud of power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, he says, then look up, lift up your head, for your redemption draweth nigh. It's getting close. That's You can find that in St. Luke chapter 21, verses 25 through 28. It's real. It's coming. Are you saved?